Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you how to get started with Zoho Expense. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Also be sure to rate this class, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve our video library. Here are some of our key takeaways for today. First, Zoho Expense is an online expense reporting tool. Employees, employers can set expense policies and approval expenses processes through Zoho Expense. And for employees, they can submit their expenses very easily with a lot of different options and create expense reports uh, very easily as well. So let's go into Zoho Expense so you can get a look at what it looks like. Here you have the dashboard and the dashboard um, is really more what the administrators would see than the actual employees. So I'm going to start with the employer side and show you a few things for you to know. So if you go into the admin and um, users, you can set up different users and will have different roles um, and uh, have policies applied to them. So if we were to go into roles, you can see here that we have three different roles. The first one is the admin role who has unrestricted access to all modules. Next is the approval role, who can submit and approve expense reports, but cannot access, access settings. And then you have the submitter, who's really the employee, who can submit expenses, but cannot access approvals or settings. And so what you would do if you have a user, we'll open this user, you can see that um, we have a role for the user. I'm gonna click edit so we can see this a little bit more. Um, under roles here on the right side, you have the options again of the admin, submitter, and approval. And under uh, admin, you can see here right under the admin, there's a description of all of the different functionalities and features that the admin has access to. Next, you have the submitter, and here again, you can see record expenses or submit reports. And then you have the approver who can record expenses, submit reports, or approve or reject reports, depending on who's, who they're under. So let's go back, let's consider this person a submitter, actually an admin for right now. So from here you can see, um, you have at the top in the gray, some basic information about the, um, about the user. Then you can show um, who they submit to. And if you look on the question mark next to submits to, this is who they have uh, to get approval from. And then approvals and forwards, this is who, um, will get receive the approved reports for this user. And you can add criteria. Maybe you only need to submit for approval, you know, if you're under, um, we only have one user, so I can't do that, but maybe only if the expense is only $25, for instance. So you can add a um, criteria there and under the approves and forwards too as well. Next we have policies. And right now, I, you can see we have the TMG live policy. And I'll show you in a minute where, how you can update policies as well. Then if we wanted to add a department and other information as well, you can do that. So now let's go into policies, which is the fourth item under admin. And you can see that we have a default policy. If we were to click new policy, you can see here that you can set your expense policy. And you would start by putting the name of the policy, then you can actually upload the actual policy that you have so it's a reference for your employees. Um, and as it says here, it will go on the dashboard for them to see. Then you can actually put in some rules that uh, can be automated. So an expense amount limit, you know, um, maybe you have a dollar limit, um, receipt required, maybe you have, you know, 15 or $20 before receipts required. Um, and you can see that as well. Um, and then you can make a description mandatory so they have to include something. Uh, and the other option for rules is that you can allow um, uncategorized expenses to be part of the expense report. And that would be um, particularly receipts that are auto-scanned. <clears throat> and then you can see, let's go back though to the policies so we can go into the existing policy we have. And then I'll show you. So you have the policy settings, which is the editing that I was just showing you. Then um, manage categories. Maybe you want to have categories of the type of expenses there are, and then you can set some policies directly on there. 
you can expense you can set an expense limit amount if you were to click that you'd be able to put a dollar amount in receipt required making the description mandatory etc you also have the option to set mileage you have uh, whether it's a in kilometers or miles the default category that this falls on to, into um, and then you can set the mileage rate and you can set it for um, you know based on what, whatever you want it to be and, and calculate in the expense report. If you had, you know, different mileage rates for some reason for different vehicles, you can do that as well by adding a vehicle name as well. And then finally, another option is a per diem. If you have employees that uh, get paid some per diem expenses or something like that, you can, you can set that. You can um, give them, you know, when it's, when it's applicable country. Um, you can add some new rates. Uh, you can do all kinds of things in here. And then again, you can integrate Zoho expenses with other Zoho apps, as well as QuickBooks, um, Microsoft Dynamics, Oracle, etc. And then we have, finally, we have the settings where you can set the preferences on, on different things. So that's from the employer standpoint. So now you're an employee and um, you have met, uh, different options to how you can uh, put expenses in. You can take pictures of expenses and upload them. You can, um, uh, of receipts, and you can drag them in here. You can just keep receipts in here in this section, receipt inbox, until you're ready to do an expense report. Or you can uh, create an expense, and then you can say the date of it, the merchant, you would you can either add it or maybe you have it a uh, you know report receipts from uh, a, a, you know a feed or something like that the category the amount whether you need to claim reimbursement and some other information and then you can just attach the receipt here if you want you can add mileage um, you have different options on whether it be distance traveled an odometer reading and then you do the start and the end um, you can put in the distance here as well and similar and then you can bulk add expenses if you don't want to you know set a specific uh, expenses for each one you can just like add them all in at one time um, before we get to reports just set, show you can add credit card feeds in here so you can add say a corporate card and then uh, you can set it up with Zoho either you can get Amex MasterCard or Visa or you can connect to your bank directly and get the feed from them. If we were to click, click on um, Chase, you would then be able to provide your banking credentials, submit them, and then the bank would end up uh, providing those feeds into Zoho Expense. And once you have the feeds, you'd be able to just expense each of those items directly. And then next we have reports. Um, so let's create an expense just to show you. Um, I'll just call it um, XYZ company category. Um, we'll say it's uh, lodging. You can choose to itemize it, the, this. You could have maybe the lodging, or if your lodging receipt has, um, you know, your restaurant food, you know, food and things like that, you can itemize this as well. I'm going to keep it in the single, make it $100. I'm going to want to claim reimbursement. I can put a description in or a reference number. Uh, and then I can actually choose to add it to a report from here. But since we don't have one yet, click Save. Now when you see this expense, you can see that now it's showing it's a lodging expense for $100 here on the right. It's unreported. The merchant is XYZ you can click to attach a receipt either from the computer, from the cloud, or existing receipts that are in your receipt inbox. And then at the bottom you have history. So um, right now we just see that this has been created. Next you can add it to report. And from here we can say add new report. We can uh, travel um, report um, duration. We can put something in here say save and select and now you can go in and you're in this report if we go to reports here you can see this report and you can see that the lodging is in there
Now, if we had not done this from the expenses and you were in here in the report, you can just add a new expense here as well. You can fill it out. You can do mileage. Um, let's do mileage, 100 um, miles. The, the uh, payment rate is in there already at 58 cents, so that's $58. Save and include. And now you can see we have two different um, two different expenses in here, and it shows the total expense amount, the amount to be reimbursed, and then you see the history. You can see that the report was created, was updated at the same time to to add in um, the hundred dollar expense that we created the report with, and then you can go to um, uh, you can see we added in additional expense. So you can record an advance payment if you've already received payment. Maybe um, you prepaid this room, hotel room. You can uh, reflect that here. Uh, you can also add um, additional receipts. And then other options include share, archive, delete. You can have a PDF of this, print, download the receipts, etc. And then from uh, the all report side, you have different views you can see, but we only have the one expense in here so far. Uh, cards we went through already, advanced payments, if you had some advanced payments, like we just talked about, you can record them here and then just pull them into an expense report. And then after you um, submit your expense report, report, let's just go in. And then, if we had set an approval category, we could have um, we could have we would have then seen the approval here in reports approval. And as you can see from this flowchart, once a report is submitted, it goes to the approvers. Depending on how many you have, um, reimbursement is if it's approved, it gets recorded. But if it's rejected, it goes back to the submitter. The last thing in Zoho Expense to look at is analytics, which are essentially reports. And Zoho comes with a number of uh, a number of reports that you can look at. Um, for instance, we have uh, expense detail. I'm going to go to one that um, one that we actually would have. Uh, let's go to one expense reports. Oh, we don't have that either. Let's see um, expenses by category. Customize the report. Could say this month status submitted approved uh, expense type. You can run reports with any of this information. So you have a lot of options um, to customize. You can filter the reports, etc. And again, if you just drop down there, you can see all of the different um, expenses that you have. I mean, uh, reports that you have. So when we go back to the dashboard. You can see here, this is where um, different things will show up depending if you're, if you're an admin or not. You can drag receipts in here, create a new expense, report. You can, um, obviously, if you're an employer, you can add in a new user. You can see the summary of your reports, what's waiting reimbursement, um, what's reimbursable, what's non-reimbursable. Um, recent reports, you can view the report from here if there were comments, etc. So now let's go back to our key takeaways. So as you can see, Zoho Expense is an online expense reporting tool. Employers can set expense policies and approval processes, as you saw, and employees can submit their expenses easily and create expense reports. And one thing to note is that I could not show you in the demo was that you can use your, your phone and take pictures of receipts and send those into um, Zoho Expense, as well as emailing to your expenses in as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our, video, our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or questions about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you.